2018, uh, Croatia was second on the world. Uh, like a child, uh, Lionel Messi. But uh, now I can say that I'm playing with uh, one of the best midfielders ever, Luka Modric. And uh, Luka Modric against Argentina. From Spain, uh, Gabi. Uh, he's young and he has a lot of potential. You can see that in Barcelona. Um, then mm, Messi, because he uh, this is his last World Cup. Uh, also Cristiano Ronaldo, they are big names. Um, who else? In my country, Luka Modric, maybe because he's it's his last World Cup also. Um, and the Dyson Maeda. Then I can say Denmark and uh, Croatia because Denmark is a good team uh, with good players but not big, like big names, only Ericsson. But they, they played like a, like a team all together and uh, I think that they can go really big this time. Uh, you know that in the World Cup, especially in the groups, you have uh, Good teams, tricky uh, teams, but uh, if we will play like we used to do, uh, I think that uh, we don't need to be scared about any, uh, anyone and we need to play our football and uh, in the end we will celebrate. Yeah, but you can see now that we have sun here. That's something strange, but uh, we, get, we, are, we are getting used to it. But. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of strange to go in winter time, but uh, you can see now that a lot of players are injured. Uh, a lot of big names will not be in the World Cup, but uh, that's football, that's our job, and uh, we are looking forward to do that. It's a different feeling, uh, especially Croatia is a small country. Uh, but represent your country, only 26 names uh, on the squad. Uh, I don't know, when you just feel that jersey and uh, just put it on yourself, it's something different than the club. Uh, Euro against Scotland. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's not me, it's uh, Domago Vida. He is uh, raising this uh, atmosphere in the group. <laughs>